When we need to do more than add a column to a table, we can use a named query instead of a named calculation. The difference is that with a named query, we have complete control over the select statement that returns data. It's just like creating a view in a relational database. When we use SQL Server as a source, we have access to a graphical query builder interface to help us design the query. We can also test the query inside the named query editor. Basically, we use named queries to simplify a large table by reducing the number of columns that we want to expose to the development environment, or we can apply filters using a WHERE clause or joins to other tables that when we want to restrict the number of rows that we want to load into our analysis services database. It's also a way to create a new table in the logical layer when we have read-only access to the data source.